Welcome to today's video, everybody, and welcome to the channel. We're going to be checking out some more Rush today. Uh, last time I watched Xanadu, and it was fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Was totally blown away by the performance and just how well they play live. About the live video, some of you guys said, hey, really should check out the studio version first so you know what you're watching. And then if you enjoy the studio version, maybe watch the live version. But also a lot of you guys are saying, hey, watch the live version because you're going to be absolutely blown away. And I see totally both perspectives to that. If you feel like there is a better version of a particular song, let me know because I love checking it out and being amazed again. I'm noticing with Rush, there's no such thing really as a bad performance. Uh, they seem to be perfectionists and very talented at what they do, obviously. Very well respected, huge following, and I can see why. They're really, really good. So today we're going to be checking out a song that's been requested multiple times. Um, I've got requests for multiple versions of this too, so I just had to pick one. Um, but we are going to be checking out La Via Strangiato today. We're going to be watching the official music video. I saw a comment. Somebody said that it's not actually them playing to the studio version. They actually recorded a whole new version. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. I get to see them perform and I'm guessing we're going to have a really good mix here um, as opposed to a live version, which may be, um, you know, bass heavy or guitar heavy or, you know, not enough drums or who knows what. Um, but I'm guessing the mix is going to be really good and we get to see the entertainment aspect. So going to do this in two parts, guys. We're going to watch this all the way through. And then in part two, we're going to talk about some stuff like how could your parents have been Rush fans if you've never heard some of these songs? And if you're really a guitarist, um, how were you not influenced by Alex Lifeson? And um, I don't believe you've never heard these songs before because you obviously know the band. So we'll address those in part two. Link will be in the comments and description. For now, we're going to jump on into this. We're going to watch this all the way through, guys. And then we will talk about it a little bit at the end. And then we'll talk about it in part two. All right, here we go. La Via Strangiato, Rush. Their music is so mind-blowingly immersive. You get so sucked in. I love a good build up.
Oh, such a sick groove. They're all masters, man. Wow, wow, wow. Alex playing is so melodic and beautiful, and Neil is behind him just killing on the drums, and Getty is just rocking that Rickenbacker. They are so tight. Wow.
absolute magicians. Such a good groove. Three dudes, man. Holy cow. Ten minutes goes so fast when you're... I I did this with Xanadu, guys. I got so into it, and I'm thinking it's like halfway over, just kind of tracking with the song, getting lost, being totally mesmerized. And, um, and then it ends. And I'm like, what in the world? Three guys. One of you guys commented and said, oh, they hide the other guys in um, Neil's mustache. That's what they did in the 70s, at least. So I love that comment because it's like, yeah, well, they're they're hiding somewhere. Um, guys, this is a lot to um, take in. Obviously, some uh, questions that I mentioned before are going to be answered in part two. We're going to jump into that. We're going to talk for just a few minutes um, about the song and about the band in general. So if you want to do that, guys, go ahead and join me. Links in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in part two, and I hope to see you in future videos on the channel. See you guys.